The 2022 Grandview football regular season has come to an end. The team is 8-2 and, and is the fourth seed preparing for a state championship push. The video shows interviews from the players and the head coach recapping their season as a whole. Uh, going into this season, I was excited because um, I get to play with all the guys uh, I made friendships with last year. Um, I was also excited to kind of step into that leadership role that was left behind and kind of lead this team this year and kind of get to know each other, all the new guys, like getting to know them and just be able to work with everyone and um, just an opportunity to get out there and play more games. Uh, the growing pains is just uh, kind of working together. Um, you know, there's new guys, and you got to get them in and work together and kind of create that bond. And so, um, just being on the same page with everyone, and just everyone doing their part, is kind of like the what we're working together. And once we can, uh, we work well with everyone, and we all can kind of depend on each other. Then that's when we're gonna uh, be our best. So. I, I say our season is pretty well, or we've done pretty well. Um, we've had a few uh, too many mistakes in some games that kind of cost us, but overall we've really played one bad game, but uh, we've learned from it and we can continue to, to keep learning from it and um, we'll finish out the season strong. Going into the season, I felt optimistic and I felt hungry. Hungry to grind. Oh yeah, of course it is errors. Yeah. Um, but we kept riding, I don't know. We just figured stuff out, you know? Um, I'd say, um, just kind of like last year, game by game, we grew, gotten better, you know? We just carried ourselves better throughout each game and just got together more as a family. The players then answered about how they bonded throughout the season and if there was any growing pains. Uh, I wouldn't say there's much pains. It's really, yeah, not, there's not that much pains, really. I feel like this season so far is going good. I feel like we just had to uh, connect and grow as a team, get better, and uh, once we did that, we became a family. We become stronger. We become the best, honestly. Uh, probably just learning the technique and stuff, cause you know, I didn't know a lot of the technique when I first joined, but now I'm getting pretty good at it. Um, I think I've been doing pretty good for my personal season, uh, for my first year playing football. And overall, as a team, we've been playing pretty good. Uh, last year, we had a lot of seniors that had played a lot of football. Um, so there were some big um, holes we had to fill with younger guys. But I think we have done that nicely. But I, last year was just kind of a senior-laden team with a lot of great leaders. So we had to replace a lot of those players. And that was tough at certain points. But I think we've settled in a little bit. Um, well, I, I knew that last year's class was really talented. Even though I had an, a year under my belt here at Grandview, I still knew that it was going to be hard to replace some of those guys in the leadership. But uh, every year you're excited, and I love this team, and see how we can do the rest of the, rest of the season. The head coach, Tom Doherty, then gave his thoughts on whether or not he thinks the team will win the state title this year. 100%, 100%. Because that's why you coach and that's why you play. You always have a chance. But we have a good team. If we play the way we can play, I think we can beat anybody. After listening to the players and the head football coach, we can confidently say that they are ready to compete in playoffs. Good luck to the Grandview Wolves in their hunt for a state championship. This is David Santana for Grandview TV.